Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? From here, to find the value of x, you can write this as x squared plus 3x all squared then over x minus 3 all squared then equals to 16. And from the law of indices, this has been separated. And here we have this as over 1 here. And here let's bring this together as one fraction. On the left hand side, the SM here is x minus 3 all squared. And one goes here is x minus 3 all squared, then times x squared. So we have x squared into bracket x minus 3 all squared then plus here this goes here is 1 then times 3x squared so it's still 3x then all squared equals to 16 from here and in the next step let's expand this bracket here so this gives us x squared into bracket we have x squared minus 6x then plus 9 then plus here this is also 9x squared as the square here we have put 3 and x then divided by we have x minus 3 all square then equals to 16 then from here we also use x square here to open this bracket and this become x raised to power 4 minus 6x cube then plus 9x square then we have plus 9x square then divided by x minus 3 all square then equals to 16 from here then in the next step we have here we can have it together and this will become 18 years square so we have x raised to power 4 now minus 6 x cube plus 18 x square then over x minus 3 all square equals to 16 then from what we have here, we can factor something common here, which is 6x squared. So when we put 6x squared from these two terms, so this becomes x raised to power 4 minus 6x squared. Then into bracket x left here, then minus here, 3 left here. And then we have divided by x minus 3. Then all square, which is equal to 16. Then we separate this into two fractions, and this will become x raised to power 4 over x minus 3 all square, then minus 6 x square over x minus 3, then over x minus 3 all square, which is equal to 16. Then from here we can also write this x raised to power 4 as x squared then all squared which is divided by x minus 3 all squared then here we have minus 1 of the power here we cancel this and here we mean 6 x squared over x minus 3 which is equal to 16 and next here this square is common we can take it out and this will become x square over x minus 3 then all square then minus here we have 6 into bracket x square over x minus 3 and which is equal to 16 and from here we have x squared over x minus 3 common and from there we can use a letter to represent that 
and let u be equals to x square over x minus 3 and this equation will become now a u square minus 6u equals to 16 and from there you can take 16 to this side and this becomes u square minus 6u minus 16 then equals to 0 and we can factorize this the two factors here will be minus 8 my minus 8 plus 2 so minus 8 plus 2 will give us minus 6 and minus 8 times 2 will give us minus 16 so this will become u square minus 8u plus 2u then minus 16 equals to 0 then we group this to 2 we factor what is common and what is common here we have u into bracket u minus 8 then plus 2 into bracket u minus 8 then equals to 0 then from here we have u minus 8 common that's u minus 8 into bracket u plus 2 which is equals to 0 from here then the two cases here we have u minus 8 equals to 0 or we have u plus 2 equals to 0 and here u is equals to 8 on this side on this side u is equals to minus 2 then let's recall that we represented u as s square over x minus 3 here so when we replace u as s square over x minus 3 then this side we are going to have x square over x minus 3 now equals to 8 and also on this side we have x square over x minus 3 equals to minus 2 then from here when we cross multiply from here this becomes x square equals to 8x minus 24 from here then when we take everything to one side this becomes x square minus 8x plus 24 now equals to 0 then similarly on this side we cross multiply and this becomes x square equals to here minus 3 times x that's minus 2x then minus 3 times minus 3 plus 6 then take everything to one side we have x square plus 2x then minus 6 equals to 0 now on this side when we solve for this quadratic equation using quadratic formula and this side we use x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and here a is equals to 1 and b is equals to minus 8 c is equals to 24 and when we substitute from here this gives us x now to be equals to minus into bracket minus 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 square minus 4 times 1 times 24 then over 2 times 1 and here when we solve this this same thing as x equals to here we have 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 square is same thing as 54 from there that's 8 times 8 then minus 4 times 24 here we have 26 then over 2 then here we have x equals to 8 plus or minus square root of minus 32 over 2 and square root of minus 32 we can as well write it as x equals to 8 plus or minus square root of 16 times 2 times minus 1 then over 2 and when we separate the 16 out, 
that's 4. So we have f9 equals to 8 plus or minus 4 root 2. Then root minus 1 is i. Then over 2. And this can be written as when we separate two fractions, we have 8 over 2 plus or minus here is the same thing as 4i root 2 then over 2. Here to go in 8 to go in 4 and this becomes x equals to 4 here plus or minus 2i root 2. So here we have two complex solutions from here. And then also from the side, we can also solve this other quadratic equation using the same formula. And here a is equals to 1, b is equals to 2, and c equals to minus 6. And here x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times you know 1 then times minus 6 over 2 times 1 and here this becomes x to be equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square here we have 4 then here minus times minus is plus and 4 times 6 there we have 24 then over 2 and we have x now to be equals to minus 2 plus or minus root 28 over 2 and from here we can write root 28 as 4 times 2 there 4, 4 times 7 rather so we have minus 2 now plus or minus root 4 times 7 over 2 and root 4 here we take it out as 2 and this becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 7 over 2. Which when we separate into two fractions, we have x equals to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus 2 root 7 over 2. And here x gives us, here we have minus 1 now plus or minus 2 root 7. And also here we have two other solutions from here which here in this case is the resolution and here we can conclude that we have the solutions here x1 we can write it from here as minus 1 plus root 7 and we can write x2 here as minus 1 minus root 7 as the two solutions here then from here we can say x3 equals to 4 plus 2i root 2 and x4 equals to 4 minus 2i root 2. So here we have you know, these four solutions in this given problem. We have two ray and two complex. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. And put your comment in the comment section. See you in the next class and bye for now.